guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be doing an art and craft haul I went to hobby craft and paper chase my favorite place ever and got lots of goodies so things for my business things for just general use and things to experiment with so I thought instead of just unboxing it and leaving it all over my office I thought I would show you guys what I got as well and why I got what I did things that I use for my business and stuff and also some supplies I think are pretty goddamn cute I love stationery literally love it Dean has to drag me out of the stationery aisles whenever we go shopping we'll go food shopping and maybe we'll go to like a large supermarket with a stationery section and I'm literally there all day and he has to drag me out of it literally I love it so bad I spend a lot of time in there if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen that I was in paper chase for a long long time so let's get into the haul and let's see what I bought I actually haven't seen what I've bought yet so um, I've kind of forgot so it, we're kind of gonna go through this together so the first place that I'm gonna be doing things from is Hobbycraft. What Hobbycraft is, um, is a big superstore of art and craft and stationery supplies. It's like two stories. So we're going to go through that first. Um, but the only thing with this is there's not many there's not many art supply stores near me. So I have no choice but to go kind of here for stuff. I don't really have a choice on where to shop. I have to kind of just go to Hobbycraft. And the problem with that is some things are really, really expensive from there. But let's get into it. So the first thing I bought, oh no, it's bent, is this gorgeous pastel pink card. And the reason I bought this was for photography backdrops. And I've been looking for some pink paper which was like a nice pastel colour not too dark not too light and I've really struggled to find one and this one's got like a nice texture to it I'm a bit sad that it's bent but I'm sure I can iron it out if I put a tea towel over the top this piece of paper was something like £1.10 uh, and it was in the colour pale blossom and I got an A3 sheet so that obviously it has more photography so it has more backdrop for my photography so that's the first thing I bought Ooh, this is sparkly. The next thing I bought are these sparkly sheets of paper and I got one in this gorgeous pink colour. I literally love sparkly stuff. I literally love it. It makes my pupils dilate. Um, so I thought this is also a nice back, like would make a nice backdrop, especially with Christmas coming up. I wanted it to have that kind of bokeh effect where if you've got a wide angle lens or whatever they're called and it's got a shallow depth of field, it will kind of give that beautiful sparkly background. Um, so I wanted to experiment with these. I also got this sparkly blue one. Uh, which is really really nice because I have some shark stickers uh, which I would like to photograph on this background and I also have a shark pin coming which will be very exciting and I thought that would kind of represent the sea. I also got these foam sheets one in like an aqua colour and one in like a minty green these were 80 peach as were the oh no so these plain sheets were only 50p each and the sparkly sheets were 80p each and they're all like a foam style of um, backing which is pretty handy. If you sell pins you could poke the pins through, obviously it would leave holes but it would eliminate those shadows and kind of go flush to your background because of the foam. Um, so it's a pretty good idea. So yeah, these are the sheets that I bought for photography backdrops. Next up, I got a big pack of A4 Premium Card. This is a 100 pack and it's 300 GSM. A lot of people ask me where I get my backing cards um, card from and this is where I get it from. I get it from Hobbycraft because I really like the texture of this paper. It's nice and smooth, it's good quality and it prints on nice. You have to be double check with your printer that your printer can feed heavy cardstock in it these were nine pound each and i got two so it was 18 pound for 200 card pieces um some people might find that expensive i don't know but i find that relatively cheap and that is where i get my backing cards from i don't order them online 
Ooh, what else have I got? I'm so excited to use these. So the next next thing that I bought were these watercolour aquarelle, aquarelle, um, cold pressed watercolour pads, and I got them in A5. I actually wanted to get them in a smaller size at A6, uh, but they were the same price because these were on offer at an absolute steal of three pound fifty each. That's amazing. But they should have been £7 each. So they were half price. So £3.50 for these. And you get 12 sheets per pack. And I wanted these for my Inktober. Um, that is coming up. The Inktober challenge, if you don't know what it is, you draw um, prompts every day during, um, during October. You can follow different people's prompts, but the original prompt was by Jake Parker. I'm going to be following the original prompts and you can use anything really. You don't have to use ink, but this year I've decided to use ink myself and I'm going to keep it very limited with my colour palette. So yeah, I'm super, super, super excited to try these. I really, really like the packaging as well. It's like really nice nice graphic design work on this. Next thing I got, which isn't very exciting, is some sellotape. Uh, I got this because I was running really low on my sellotape for packing. You don't get much in this, but it was an emergency and I needed some sellotape ASAP. So I just got that for packaging Etsy products just to get me through the next couple of days until my order arrives. Boring! The next thing I got was Ooh, this cute blue glitter washi tape. This is so pretty. I love glittery stuff so bad. How much was this? Five pound. And it contains three five meter glitter tapes and two five meter skinny glitter tapes. Uh, so yeah, they're for my packaging when I send my Etsy orders out. I like to put them in little bags and I like to finish them off with some nice washi tape. So this is the glitter galore aqua washi tape that I got. Super pretty and super sparkly. Am I right? Oh, am I right? Next thing. <laughs> so, like I said, I was doing Inktober this year and even though I'm going to be away for half of October at Halloween, I'm going to try and do as many as I can so I can upload them while I'm away. But the first thing that I got is this Winsor & Newton ink and it is in the colour Carmine. I wanted some nice pink ink to use. Like I said, I want to keep it as a limited colour palette and I thought this would be really, really cool against like black ink. So what I'm planning on doing is using black ink with pops of other ink um, in my drawing. So that was the first ink that I got, the colour in Carmine. These are £3.50 um, which is not too bad because this will last a long long time like unless you paint it really big then it might not but I don't paint big I paint quite small so yeah that's the Winsor & Newton ink that I got I also got another Winsor & Newton ink and can we please just get a zoom in on the graphic design on this Hello, pixels everywhere. What the flip? Did no one see this? Did no one do a proof? Anyway, getting over the pixels and the quality of the graphic design on this, I don't know what went wrong. Um, this is just a black Indian ink um, and you can you can use whatever ink, but this is a classic by Winsor & Newton. And this is what I'm gonna be using for my outlines. I'm pretty scared because I haven't really done this before. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous to use these because I normally use pencils or obviously like markers or something to outline my inks again that uh, to outline my illustrations again that was £3.50 so the two of them were £7 together and I, I feel like they will last me a very long time the next thing I got are three graduate paint brushes because I don't know how I'm going to be with this ink challenge and I'm kind of pushing myself out of the comfort zone I didn't want to splash out on a really expensive premium set of brushes but if I enjoy this way of inking then I will go and treat myself to some nice quality brushes but these are a cheaper option you can tell they're a cheaper option because they're a lot um, lighter 
and the materials aren't as good and the synthetic brushes aren't as good either. I think these were super cheap. These were like £2.50 each or three for five pounds. So you actually got one got one free. So I decided to get a really thin one. So this is a really thin one and I got this for lining and then I got another one up which is still a thin, nice thin brush for lining which is in number one and then I got a number six which is for colouring and it's a bit more thicker. I already have brushes for my watercolours that I can use if I don't like these. So they were a bag in two. Last thing I got were these markers. Now I'm going to be doing a review of these because I've seen them and they were like a really nice pastel colour in and they were super cheap how much were these and they say dual tip illustration markers high quality alcohol based acid free and non-toxic in pastel like a pastel set and you know me i love pastel colors so i had to get these when i seen them and they were super cheap how much were they so this whole pack was 10 pound and that's for six markers it felt so cheap like way less than two pound i can't do math so it's way less than two pound a marker which is considerably cheaper than a copy it's also a really nice shape like they're a triangular shape and it's got a brush tip are these gonna be a competition for copics who knows do you want me to do a review on these leave it in the comments below if you want to see me review these and see how i think they um go against copics oh i'm excited to try them the colors look really nice so it'd be interesting to see if the colors match up to the lids because uh, I found that with cheaper markers oftentimes the lids don't match the actual colour uh, so I always have to do swatches which I advise to do anyway because depending on the paper you use it it can come out different so yeah that was the last thing I bought from Hobbycraft let's get in to the paper chase um, haul this isn't a paper chase bag this is my bag um, saving the environment and all that um, I love paper chase so much but I didn't actually go in <laughs> I was just passing and I couldn't help myself I was like oh I really want to go in so I ended up going in the thing I got was this spectroscope pastel memo pad I love this I have a pink memo pad at the moment and um it's just rubbish basically the paper's horrible whereas this look really nice quality it's also a really nice big size i also got this to add as little notes to put into my etsy packaging um i can't i don't have time to handwrite everyone a note but i do try when i can to handwrite everyone a note and i thought this would be really really nice because it's like a pastel color um and it's also for me uh, because it's just adorable and it was five pound the legs that will last a long time and it weighs about 10 stone next thing i got was this postcard and um, i think this is designed by paper chase and it says yes you can and the reason i got this is because i wanted to add some art to my walls and i'm going to be collecting some art from artists i really like that and it's kind of like a motivating message so i got that they were 80p because it was a postcard and then i also got another postcard which just says from pictures again it doesn't say if it's from an artist or not and it says friends forever boys whatever edgy am i right oh, am i right and it was on this nice pastel background and i really really like awesome and tamarind next door and I really liked the red against the lilac. Another postcard that I got was this little cactus thing. I just love the colours in this. That was the reason I bought it. Basically, do I need any other reason apart from that I like the colours? But yeah, I got this just because I like the colours in it. Hello, I'm trying to record a video here. Jeez, people are so rude. And then the last thing I got was this Goody Tammer um, and Jolly Awesome mix-up uh, collaboration. And it's so cute. I literally am obsessed with Goody Tammer. Anything Goody Tammer, I am totally buying it. Anything Pusheen, just Sanrio in general. I love them. They're very inspirational to me. Um, yeah, I had to buy that. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I kind of want to put it on my wall. Like, cut it in half and put it on my wall. So, yeah, that's 
basically everything from my haul. I hope you liked this haul video. Please let me know what you saw in the comments. Um, I am so, so excited to try this stuff out. It's like laid out in front of me now and I really can't wait to try out those watercolour pads and I really can't wait to try out these markers. I'm super excited for this. So I'm actually going to film another video with these markers let me know if you want to see that and i'm going to try them with you i'm not going to open them until that video so we can try them together and it's a genuine honest review of my first impressions rather than me opening them trying them then filming i'm not going to do that i'm going to open them try them with you guys all right let me know if you want to see that oh i forgot that i got this pink highlighter and that was one British pound. I got a pink highlighter just because it's a pink highlighter and I wanted one. Basically, there's no other reason. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did like it and you want to see my other videos. Um, and yeah, thank you for all your support. I read every single one of your comments. Please leave a comment below because I love, love, love reading them. And I love you so freaking much. You make my day. And every comment that I read makes it so encouraging for me when I film and shoot and edit these videos it makes it so worthwhile if you like watching them so yeah thank you very much for coming back to the studio and I love you so freaking much all right then I love you freaking a lot all right I love you a lot all right bye love you bye